And here we go, the highly anticipated bout between Iyana Verduzco, aka Right Hook Roxy, against Andrea Artillera Ferrer. And you see the spectacular entrance there by Right Hook Roxy. The fans in attendance are all ready for it. And what a great introduction here, Chris. Yeah, she's a fan favorite coming all the way from the United States. Right Hook Roxy here, you know, her first event promoting her, her own fight. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a long time coming, you know, pandemic. You know, we didn't know when she was going to be back at the ring, but she is here ready to make the action count. Gio Garcia alongside Chris calling all the action here live from Colima, Colima, Mexico. Right Hook Promotions, and you see the excitement there, the mariachi. All the people are ready for this fight, Chris. We're ready for it. Spectacular entrance, like I said. Yeah, an exciting night of boxing, Gio. I mean, like you said, the music is hot, you know, Roxy's in the ring, getting warmed up, you know, a long time coming, but you're going to see a good, good, good action here tonight. And let you guys enjoy the mariachi a little bit here. Once again, live from Colima, Colima, Mexico. First ever Right Hook Promotions event. As you see Coach G, Gloria there with her daughter, Right Hook Roxy. Uh, we also have La Barbie Juarez, who was La Madrina, the official Madrina of this event. Of course, of Right Hook Promotions as we go to the official introductions here. The very first ever WBC title for an amateur fight, Chris. Disputed between right hook Roxy, Yana Verduzco, and Andrea Ferrell as we get started here. The beginning of this belt, right hook Roxy in the red, Andrea in the blue. The crowd is hyped, the crowd is live. First ever right hook promotions event. And right away, you see a straight ride by right hook Roxy. Two minute rounds, three rounds between these young ladies as they're starting off strong. They don't have much time to waste. Two minute rounds, like we said, and it's only three of them. So, and right away, you see why they call her right hook Roxy landing a right hook inside. Doesn't make full contact, but it keeps her opponent there. That's a signature punch, and of course, Andrea Ferrell trying to work the distance there. Always a tough matchup against a southpaw. And good one, too, there by Andrea. Andrea Artillery Ferrell has been in the game a couple years now. She's fighting on home soil, on home turf, so she's not going to want to give a good account of herself. Yeah, you guys see the MEX on her back there. On the back of that blue, top by Andrea as both ladies are looking for that range. Good right hand there by Andrea. Roxy responds with the right hook. And like we said, they have no time to waste. Two minute round, so there's no time to warm up, Chris. Yeah. As you can see, they're both amateurs, but they are not fighting like amateurs. Uh, you know, they're, they're sitting down pretty well on their, on their punches and, you know, not, not wasting too much time. Roxy there using lateral movement to get away from Andrea. But there's stalking her opponent throwing combinations herself Roxy responds both exchanging good punches there Andrea maybe just a little more active than Roxy at the moment Roxy spinning her way out of that corner that neutral corner there and that was it like we said two minute rounds and that was the first as we see Coach G and Roxy high-fiving there Good opening round, Gio. Good opening round to, to start this action. Uh, like you mentioned, two minute rounds. You know, they they gotta work. They gotta work. Any round can can be decisive in, in, in this bout. But good work there by White Hook Roxy, you know, making the way all the way from the States, fighting Andrea Artillery Ferrell in Mexico in her home soil. Yeah, both ladies national champions. Of course, Andrea, champion for Mexico, 
right hook Roxy, three-time international gold medalist, 21-time national champion. As they start off guns blazing in the second round, exchanging punches, of course, you see the right hook by Roxy, but Andrea is throwing punches and bunches, not wasting any time there, not showing any respect. That's a good hook there to the body by Ferrell. And oh, oh the right the referee. We had the first <laughs> knockdown of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. First knockdown of the fight. And it was the ref, but he says he's okay. He didn't eat the 10 count. You, you saw the, you saw both, both ladies looking over and making sure he's okay. Good sportsmanship there <laughs> by both of them as they continue to trade punches. Oh, and and it looks like, there. like Roxy gets pushed down. And that's what the, exactly what the referee's calling. It's been a great show so far. This is what the people have been waiting for. And these ladies are not disappointing. Oh, and it looks like another push down. Referee making sure that Roxy's okay there and the action is ready to resume. Both ladies now at the center of the ring, exchanging punches. A lot of exchanges. These amateur bouts yeah. are very, very tough to score. Not much time. And normally in amateur boxing, you see a lot of punches being thrown, so it's difficult a lot of times to, to see what's scoring and what, what isn't scoring. That was a good left under there by, by Roxy. And Roxy's landing good punches, but Andrea's taking them very well. She's not backing away. She's always ready to engage as you see her coming forward there, Andrea on the blue, as they both exchange there. And you hear Coach Glorious. You can hear, hear her giving right hook Roxy instructions. And that concludes the second round, ladies and gentlemen, here in Colima. As we go to the third and final round, we'll try to listen to a little bit of what Coach G is saying here. But the crowd is very loud, man. It's very hype. These, these people have been waiting for this fight. And I noticed that a, a lot of the crowd is riding with Andrea as she is in her home, home turf. Here in Mexico. Joe, if you're in that corner, you're Coach Gloria, what are you telling Roxy? I mean, it's very difficult because they're both throwing a lot of punches. Um, I would say try to try to just go for it. Last round, and we hear, we see La Barbie Juarez there. She's telling Roxy to relax and just enjoy it. And I think that's great advice there. Relax, just enjoy it. It's a big stage. We hear the chance of Mexico there. Not necessarily a pro Roxy crowd, even though it's her first promotional event. Those are very close rounds, Gio. Um, any judge can favor either either fighter. There's both. They're both doing things that could sway uh, the judges. Yeah, these fights are very very difficult to score. So if I'm in Roxy's corner, I'm trying to land something decisive here to get the judges' attention. As Andrea working the one-two there, having some success on the inside. Being a little more active than Roxy at the moment. Roxy trying to find her range. Moving around, lands a right hook there. But Andrea's taking him very, very well. You can see Roxy trying to put that pressure on. But artillery moving around very well. Good thing is that the referee hasn't gone down again in this fight, Chris. He's staying active, he's staying in this fight. He's being very, very <laughs> alert. I had to say, up and through, up until the second round, it could have been one, one round apiece. So whoever wins this round, Gio, could, could take this fight. I agree with that. Like I said, very difficult to score these type of fights. You see Roxy trying to work the one-two there. Not within range. Andrea's showing some good body work there. Very good boxer. And right hook Roxy, not just fighting her opponent, but a crowd. So anything that her opponent lands is going to get a roar. Yeah, and you, you wonder how much how much they're listening to from the crowd there, from the corners. As you see Coach G there getting into it. But it's such a big stage, man. Well, very well put together show by Right, right Hook Promotions in collaboration with Pacheco's Boxing there from Colima, Colima, Mexico. And, and there you see the passion from Coach Gloria urging her daughter and her fighter on. Yeah, let me tell you this, man. I, I have no idea what they're yelling. I hear a lot of noise in the crowd. 
They're really into this fight, man. These ladies are putting on a show. And that concludes the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know how you scored it. Very tough fight. Only six minutes of action. Very difficult to score. So the scorecards are going to look very, very interesting. Now you see the great sportsmanship there by Roxy and Ferrell. Yeah, very close fight. Both ladies at their moments. Both trading punches. I, I got to say, it's, it's the first two rounds were probably split. That last one is going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one, Gio. I can't call it. I can't call it. And a lot of times, amateur fights are so difficult to score. And you see a lot of fights that could have gone one way that go the other. But this is going to be very, very interesting. Both Roxy and Andrea showing very good boxing, very good technique, very good skill. So this is going to be a very, very difficult one for the judges here in Colima. And of course, a lot of anticipation in the crowd. We don't know which way this fight is going to sway as we await the official decision here. You see that Barrio Juarez too? Okay, there we go with the score. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll leave you here with the sound of the arena for the official decision. And Andrea has pulled it off. A split decision. The judges were split. Ultimately, they score for Andrea Ferrell, and she becomes the first amateur ladies WBC champion there. As you guys see, the, the green belt, the famous green belt. Very good fight, Chris. I couldn't call it. Yeah, no, it was it a very. It seemed like the judges had trouble scoring it. Yeah, very competitive fight. Like you just said, split decision. So there was a judge that saw it go towards right hook Roxy. The other two saw it go to Andrea Ferrell. Very, very, very tough match. Right hook Roxy can, can put her head high. Very close. Could have gone either way. You know, it's going to be a learning experience for her. These are the amateurs. It only prepares her for a bright future that she has ahead. Yeah, much respect to both of these ladies. They put on a show. First ever right hook promotions event. It did not disappoint. We still have the main event coming up. But, man, what a fight this was, Chris. And I'm sure all the people are going to leave happy. All the people who paid for the pay-per-view, all the people who paid for a ticket here tonight, I'm sure they're not going to leave disappointed. Congratulations to Andrea Artiguera Ferrell. Very good fight, man. She stayed poised. It seemed like she was a little more active in a lot of those exchanges, and maybe that's what the judges saw ultimately. But, man, it was a tough, tough fight for both of these ladies. They have nothing to be ashamed of and everything to be proud of, Chris. Yeah, hey, well said, Gio. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the main event coming up still. Right Hook Promotions, Gio Garcia here alongside Chris calling all the action. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>